everyone, and welcome to a walkthrough of the latest project for um, Paper Architecture with Sabrina. And I've created the instructions for this project, but I'm going to um, do a little bit of a walkthrough. I used two paper lines for this project. I used a Kaiser Crafts The Looking Glass, and I, I purchased uh, one package of that paper. And Or no, actually, I think it was two. And I also purchased uh, two packages of, um, um, sorry, it's <laughs> just left my mind, Fancy Pants, there we go, Fancy Pants um, Burlap and Bouquet for, uh, for this project. So between the two packages, I ended up with some paper left over, but not a whole lot. And um, this is bigger than a mini, but still smaller than a 12 by 12. Um, this measures about 11 inches uh, so let me double check that because with the curve here it may be a little bit wider yeah it's about 11 and a half inches with the with this closure thing here so um, 11 and a half inches this direction and 10 inches um, in this direction so and it's um, a thick one it has seven uh, pages in it so it's an uneven number and I created this um, closure here with a, sort of a rolled flap and it has a um, um, a nice metal uh, closure from Butterbee Scraps on Zibit.com. Monique has some uh, some wonderful little uh, metal uh, hardware and jewelry making things and a lot of her stuff can be applied for paper crafting it's uh, wonderful she has wonderful things to to pick so it's uh, Monique at Butterbee Scraps at Zibit.com and um, so let's uh, begin here this front piece here is from the uh, fancy pants burlap and bouquet and so is this um, closure flap here and the spine of the album um, that burlap is also from Fancy Pants. So when we open it up, oh, I also forgot to mention I have corners here, metal corners, and uh, those are also from Butterbee Scraps. So when you open up the album, um, you can see that on the cover here we have some cascading photos, mats, so there's six pages here so that you could put 12 photos on there if you wanted or six in journaling on, on the back and then you could always put another one um, back here and you can um, do a quick little notation of a date or a little uh, one line description um, so there are those and then we have our pages now all these pages are created using a magazine envelope. These are uh, 9 inches by 12 inches. I think it's 12. Yes, 9 by 12. And uh, these are what we used for the pages in, in this book. So um, here we used um, Martha Stewart Deep Edge Punch um, in this uh, thumb pull area here. And we have uh, nice tag here so you can put photos here you can put photos here you have your tag so this holds a lot of like um, almost mini layouts if you will and you turn the page and you can put more photos here you can put a photo here and with this you have the option of closing it like this and you could have your title here for the this a page section like if you wanted to have a title for each section um, and you can you can put a photo on the back too you know a little photo there you can put a photo here or like I said a title and uh, you can see that this album holds a lot of photos okay and then this tag here is a little larger it's just a different way of using this envelope here and creating a larger tag so this this will hold a photo as well or another title if you wish and you open the flap and you have um, a, ta a page here with tags and these are like little booklet tags so again 
lots of photos, lots of journaling. Uh, you can even have a couple of smaller photos behind the tags if you wish. Okay, and then we have a tag in here for some more. And then as we turn the page, we have, again, another pocket, again with um, the booklet tags. Okay, so there's the two of them there, and you can put a couple of photos back in here. And then this page opens up with a large tag again. It could be a title or a photograph with some journaling. Uh, there's enough room here to do the same. And you can do a little mini layout here. Plus there is a large tag. Um, so another couple of mini layouts that you could do on there. And then you turn the page. Another set of mini layouts. Then we have this little flap page in here which holds some larger booklet tags. Okay. And... Um, Then we're back to the same kind of envelope that we had at the beginning with um, a tag in here. Open it up, some more photos, another tag, closure, another tag in there, some more photos here, again here. And then we have this page again where we have our, our little booklet tags. We can put some photos here. And then there's a tag here. And then we flip this, we'll have some more tags there. Little booklet tags again. I had to punch 80 circles for these tags. I don't think I use them all. I have a little handful left here, <laughs> but I just punched 80 of them, uh, inked the edges, and then punched holes in the centers. I had about uh, 10 or more at a time when I was punching the hole in the center. Um, but still, it was a little bit of work, especially the inking part. You should have seen my hands <laughs> when I was finished. So, um, and then we open this flap here. We have room for another photo and some journaling, if you wish. And again, on the other side of the tag, a little mini layout again and one of the larger tags so you could do a little mini layout on on this and then we flip the page you do another little mini layout here we have this little flat page again okay and again the larger of the booklet tags for this one <coughs> And then our last page is again this uh, folded one here with the punched thumb pull and another tag. And another tag. So depending upon what paper you use, this would make a great wedding album because um, there's lots of real estate for photos and journaling and there's also all these little areas for mini layouts which is nice to have for a wedding and then on the back of the cover we have um, our cascading six cascading photo mats again so um, I uh, I wanted to have this paper on the top page because it had all the colors throughout the whole album in it but then I thought if I wanted to label or title just these 6 to 12 photos here I would want to put it on the front and that might be too busy of a pattern to have the title stand out on so I used a uh, planer uh, piece of decor uh, designer paper for that so and then here is the back of the album so I can show you again there we go. This was a lot of fun to create. I loved working with those large magazine envelopes. Um, these envelopes are craft paper-like 
in color, but they are lighter than the craft cardstock that you get. You can see the difference in color. And that's why I inked all the edges because it kind of made this a little lighter and this a little darker, uh, blending them together a little bit better. Um, I looked online and you can get these magazine envelopes in white. You can get them in the traditional manila. And then there's this recycled craft-like um, paper. You can also go to certain specialty sites and you can get these in black. You do have to purchase them though in, I think it's packs of 100 or more. Um, so you can get them in other colors. Uh, their other colors are really hard to find, but you can find black a little more easily if you're interested. So if you want to check that out online uh, to use a different color, that'd be great. So thank you so much for joining me. Oh, I also forgot, uh, in the collection, both the collections, there were some sticker sheets. With the Kaiser Craft, the, the looking glass, these are, I should turn it the right way around, these are the stickers um, that come with that. And you can see how they match the papers beautifully. And once you get your photos in and you want to embellish it a little bit, then you can you know, add these elements to the album. Then with the uh, burlap and boutique from Fancy Pants, again upside down, <laughs> you get um, these all these different alpha sets here um, with the three different colors. And then here's the little burlap circles and then there's just the plain. So you have five mini alpha sets here. You have some phrases here and then you have um, some sticker elements. And these are great because um, if you wanted to, those are like, those are, are um, elements or stickers that fold. You can see the fold line in them. Or actually they, they come in, in twos and so you can, it's like they're folding but they're two separate pieces. But they would work great as tabs on the ends of these um, photo mats. Or if you wanted to put some on some of these uh, photo mats in here. Um, so the sticker sheets that come with the um, papers are, are great to use uh, when you're embellishing your layouts once you got your pictures in there. And then we have here a small sticker sheet um, that has um, a few little fun elements uh, to add as well. So thank you so much for joining me uh, on this walkthrough and uh, hope that you will be interested in, in making this. The instructions for um, these, this particular project. I call it, um, I'm not very creative with my, <laughs> my project titles. I might have to work on that a little bit, but I wanted to have in my title of the project a clue as to what it was about. So I call this my Magazine Envelopes and Tags album. So you can find uh, the instructions for that linked either from my two blogs, Aspiring to Creativity or Paper Architecture with Sabrina. I will also have it linked on my Facebook page, Paper Architecture with Sabrina, uh, on the YouTube description at the bottom of this um, video to walk through. And uh, I will also have uh, the link to my online store at zibit.com, paperarchitecture at zibit.com. So again, thank you for joining me and happy paper crafting and see you at the next project. Bye for now.